Many people think that having an extremely low body fat percentage is healthy, but it isn't always true. Did you know that there is a certain amount of fat essential for your body's functioning? While talking about the lowest body fat percentage, the first thought that comes to mind is 0%. But is that really achievable? Guess there's something to learn from the stories of the people in today's video. Number 5. Bruce Lee Chances are you know the famous actor and martial artist, but what was the Bruce Lee diet like? You might know him from films and TV shows such as Enter the Dragon and The Green Hornet, but Bruce Lee wasn't born a martial arts prodigy. Instead, he developed exceptional martial arts skills through years of dedication and training. He's considered by some to be the founder of mixed martial arts, but it's more accurate to say that he developed his own martial arts philosophy, Jeet Kune Do. Tragically, Bruce Lee passed away at the age of 32 due to complications of a prescription painkiller. His legacy lives on with fans all over the globe who dedicate their lives to learning Jeet Kune Do. Bruce Lee was incredibly muscular. People who worked with him on movie sets often made comments about how impressive his muscular definition was. He was a master of sticking to a diet while also balancing an intense exercise regime. His diet was full of energy-boosting foods to keep him going through long days and rigorous workouts. Bruce Lee weighed approximately 61 kilograms. Lee also achieved a low body fat percentage of around 5 to 6 percent. No one would ever dream of calling Bruce Lee fat. Celebrities like Arnold Schwarzenegger commented that Lee probably had one of the lowest body fat counts of any athlete around. Let's get it out of the way right off the bat. There is no strict Bruce Lee diet. Lee always stuck to a few key diet principles instead of a rigid meal plan. Not every intricate detail is known about what Bruce Lee ate, but in general, Bruce's philosophy about food was focused on eating nutritious food and not overindulging in unhealthy snacks. This is great advice for anyone who is prone to overeating, mindless snacking and binging. Transforming your attitude about food and nutrition can sometimes be more helpful than sticking to a strict diet and will take you closer to Bruce Lee muscle than an extreme diet. Number 4. Rich Piana Bodybuilder Rich Piana passed away just two weeks after being placed in a medically induced coma. He was 46. The former Mr. California's passing was confirmed in a Facebook post by his estranged wife Sarah Piana. I'm in tears writing this that at one day Ume has just passed away, Sarah wrote. I can barely believe this. I am so saddened and heartbroken that he didn't make it. Piana collapsed in his home on August 10th while getting a haircut from his girlfriend, Chanel Jansen, media sources reported. He was rushed to the hospital and placed in a medically induced coma. On August 17, Jansen shared a health update about Piana, saying that he was still alive and thanking fans for their support. The athlete had a 27-year history of admitted steroid use, one saying that it was necessary to juice if one was to become a professional bodybuilder. If you have the choice to stay natural or do steroids, stay natural. There's no reason to do steroids. You're only hurting your body. You're hurting yourself," he explained in an April 2016 YouTube video. If you want to become a professional bodybuilder, guess what? You're probably going to have to effing do them. You're not going to have a chance. A police report obtained by media at the time of his collapse said that 20 bottles of testosterone were found at his home. Rich Piana is also famously known for having kept his body fat level to a bare minimum, and by that we mean exceptionally and dangerously low in the 2-3% bracket. Number 3. Mohamed Beneziza A soccer player when he was young, Mohamed Beneziza started to work out and train his body, eventually entering and winning a bodybuilding event in Spain. He continued to enter events and even won the Night of Champions in 1990. Given his dominance, he was given the name Killer of Giants. In 1992, Beneziza was part of the Mr. Olympia Championships where he finished in fifth place. It was shortly after this competition he was found lying lifeless in his hotel room. The autopsy was telling, showing signs of major dehydration, and it was heart failure that killed him at the young age of 33. A potent cocktail that included diuretics was found. Prior to the show, earlier in the year, Beneziza made a statement that American bodybuilders were sissies. He referred to them by this name because of their refusal to use drugs. Well, no one can call Beneziza a sissy now, can they? Oh, also, the guy had extremely low body fat level and continued to use drugs to maintain his worthy, chiseled body. Yeah, that's debatable. Number 2. Lizzie Velasquez In her 20s, Lizzie Velasquez was born without any adipose tissue, meaning she had no fat on her body. As a result, she weighs just around 58 pounds, even though she eats as many as 60 times a day. She has been the subject of cyberbullying and stares when she walks out in public, she revealed to Dr. Drew Pinsky on HLN. Some cyberbullies even dubbed her the ugliest woman in the world because of her appearance due to her medical condition, she said. 
It's not easy. I will be the first to tell you it's not easy, Velasquez told Dr. Drew. I may have this outer exterior of people saying she can handle everything. She's dealt with this for so long. And to be honest, I'm human, and of course these things are going to hurt. Back in 2010, The Telegraph reported that Velasquez consumes 5 to 8,000 calories a day, eating food every 15 minutes. Because of the condition, the Texas State University and San Marcos student has never weighed much more than 60 pounds, she wrote in the description of her book that came out earlier, titled Be Beautiful, Be You. Velasquez's condition is extremely rare. She is just one of three people in the entire world to have it, she noted in her book description. The Telegraph reported that doctors believe she may have something called neonatal progeroid syndrome. It is a condition that leads to premature aging but is different from the more common aging disorder, progeria, according to the National Institutes of Health. It is characterized by wrinkled skin, not much fat, a large head, a face that looks aged, and visible veins in the scalp. Number 1. Andreas Munzer By most accounts, Andreas Munzer was a talented athlete and a valued member of the international bodybuilding community. Those who knew him described Munzer as ambitious and driven to be the best bodybuilder possible. However, this ambition had a dark side. It meant that Munzer was a chronic user of steroids throughout his career. In fact, it was the copious use of steroids that led to his painful passing at only 31 years old. During the last phase of his career before his end, it was said that Munzer had the lowest percentage of body fat in the world. Munzer's autopsy revealed he had almost 0% body fat, the legend goes. Such a small amount of body fat could have hastened his demise, experts say. You need body fat for cellular function, energy use, and to pad the joints and organs, said Carol Garber, professor of movement sciences at Columbia University in New York City. Having too little can lead to nutritional deficiencies, electrolyte imbalances, and malfunction of the heart, kidney, and other organs. But despite the risks, Munzer's pictures and profile frequently go viral on bodybuilding forums all these years later because of the sport's perpetual obsession with stripping every last ounce of adipose tissue from their body, according to Brian Washington, commissioner of the United States Bodybuilding Federation. Percentage of body fat is a major issue with bodybuilders, Washington said. They devote a lot of their efforts and money on products to go as low as they can possibly go. Others agree. There are still some bodybuilders obsessed about their numbers who take their body fat percentage readings on a regular basis readers, adding that even those who don't care about an exact percentage do care about getting as ripped as possible for competition. Zwick, who said he was part of the film crew that taped Munzer's last competition before his passing 10 days later, said the Austrian was very lean but doubts his body was completely absent of fat. During the autopsy, doctors found some truly bizarre things. For example, while his body contained almost no fat beneath the skin, his liver was completely destroyed. Additionally, his heart weighed almost twice as much as a normal person's. In total, doctors found traces of 20 different drugs in Munzer's body. That's all for this video, folks. See you another time.